Hi Sandy, my name is Shelly, one of your city planners, with some information about the development and land use process. We get a lot of questions from folks about how the development process works, specifically in regards to a lot of the residential subdivisions that you see popping up around the city. I'm here to explain more about that. The first step in the process is an agreement between a private landowner and a private developer. It's important to note that the city is not initiating these applications for residential development. Rather, development is a private industry that can be regulated by the city of Sandy. Once a developer agrees to buy land from a property owner and decides to develop it, they then go through an application process through the city's development services department. It's important to note that we are required by law to review every application that comes our way. During the review process, staff checks the application against the development code. The development code is a comprehensive list of rules and requirements that all new development has to follow. There are four different types of applications, and the type of application is determined based on a specific set of rules found in the development code. Type 1 and 2 applications tend to be the most straightforward, and they're up to the discretion of city staff. Type 3 applications can be a little more complex. They may include a request for an adjustment or a variance to the development code. These applications go to Planning Commission for a public hearing, and Planning Commission either approves or denies the application. Type 4 applications are the most complex. First, staff reviews the application. Then, the application goes to a public hearing in front of Planning Commission, where Planning Commission forwards either a recommendation of approval or denial to City Council. And then finally, City Council holds a public hearing where they either approve or deny the application. Types 2, 3, and 4 applications require public notice. So if you've ever gotten a notice in the mail from the Development Services Department letting you know that one of your neighbors is developing their property, that's why. As I mentioned before, development is a private industry regulated by a jurisdiction. In our case, that jurisdiction is Sandy. Courts, including the Supreme Court, have consistently ruled that property rights are a fundamental principle of the United States Constitution. What that means is that Sandy can't tell a property owner that they aren't allowed to develop their land. A city also isn't allowed to make regulations, like a development code, so burdensome that they effectively deprive all economic use of a property owner's land. This all comes back to the development code. If an application meets all of the requirements of the development code, the city is required by law to approve it. If we deny it, the applicant can actually appeal that denial to the state's Land Use Board of Appeals, and that board can actually reverse a decision that the city has made. But if the application does not meet the development code and they don't go through the appropriate processes in their application, then the city is within our rights to deny the application. there are a few ways that changes to the development code can be initiated. Typically, we come across sections that can be improved during the application review process. But it does take some time to recognize changes need to be made, make those changes, run them past the city's attorneys to make sure they can be legally enforceable, and get them adopted by city council. One way that you can be involved in changing the city's development code is by getting engaged with the city's comprehensive plan update process. The comprehensive plan includes priorities and goals related to land use, and those priorities and goals will get translated into the development code. Currently, we're in the pre-planning stages of the comprehensive plan update, and we'll have more information in the coming months about how the public can get more involved. As always, if you have any questions about the development process or any questions about any current applications that we are reviewing, you can send us an email at planning at ci.sandy.or.us.